Welcome, guys. We are back watching. If you don't agree, you're wrong. And we are, well, I would consider this a very special, if you don't agree, you're wrong, because <laughs> I don't think we've ever done it so quickly after release of a show. What yes, doing... I was just like, let's exploit this now. Let's exploit <laughs> this lovable little red echidna right now and completely dump over this lovingly assembled television miniseries, because mm. that is what pathetic... 40-ish year old men do, at least according to our comments. Yes. Well, hey, look, I like those uh, two films, Sonic 1 and Sonic 2. Great movies. I enjoy it very much. So I, they've earned some of my the trust. Best, some of the best video game adaptations ever. I know that's not a very high bar, but they hit it. Absolutely. So they've earned my like interest in this show. And Idris Elba who, I'll just put it out there, who, oh, he's just wonderful playing the role of Knuckles. But, Jace, like, before I let you unleash on this show what you thought of it, all I'm going to say is about my thoughts is this show only works when Knuckles is on the screen. Anytime I Knuckles isn't in this show, agree. it doesn't work. Yes. This guy sucks. I'm sorry. Yeah. I <laughs> just... No, He's no, not hate against, no hate. Well, actually, I guess this is hate towards the actor because it was yeah. just this was every single scene he was in was painful and horrible. And even okay, even these guys, yeah, just awful, yeah. awful, awful. And this guy, this is the hound from Game of yeah, Thrones. Spend, uh, Why was he so boring? Dime store Robotnik right there. Why did we have a whole episode that was a rock opera? Why? Without Knuckles. At all. Without him. Just just this guy in a costume. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I know. 28 minutes of that, basically. I know that animating the series must cost a lot of money. I get yeah. that, and I get that they probably needed to cut corners to make this show work. Make it less episodes. Yeah, I would have been happy episodes. with three. You yeah. could have given me three episodes and I would have been good. This could have been done in one 30-minute special. Oh. It could have been like Guardians of the Galaxy. I would even say 40 minutes. Make it a 42-minute, yeah. 50-minute presentation. They could have yeah. done like a little cheapo Knuckles movie because I think that's what they were aiming for at first. They wanted to make a Knuckles movie, and then they're like, eh. You know what? We're kind of getting eviscerated at the box office right now. Let's just make a little cheap mini series out of it. Yeah, that, I think that's hey, what happened. The the thing is though, every time he's on screen, Knuckles Idris Elba just does a phenomenal job with this iteration of Knuckles. He just oozes his character so well that the only thing that made this thing watchable was him, like yes. his appearance on screen. And obviously the first episode when we get actually Tails, Sonic and Knuckles together for a few, you know, let's hook the audience in scenes, uh, it's wonderful, you know. Yeah. And, um, yeah, this is a, like, I don't think you can treat this any more than a little, like, little stop along the way to the next film. Uh, let's be perfectly honest. This movie, this not this movie, this, this miniseries was not made for you and I. This was made for little kids. Because little, the, little kids, the human characters are just ridiculous caricatures. Adam Polly as Wade, as we've already said, annoying performance, annoying character. Yeah. Kid Cuddy and Ellie Taylor as the two agents. Yeah. Annoying, like Disney Channel level cringe with these two. And Rory yeah. McCann, I'm just going to call him the hound from now on, yeah. as the buyer, as they're calling him completely forgettable villain with absolutely no connection to knuckles whatsoever other than i want his power oh that's so original i re i i haven't seen that since the first two sonic movies yeah who uh, worked he worked for uh dr robotnik um yes but not that we've ever got any other reference point but that i just uh, wanted to say get. i just think it would have been it was such a missed opportunity yeah. if the buyer had shown up at the end in his knockoff Spider-Man, the amazing Spider-Man 2 rhino suit. Yeah. And 
it's like I finally knuckles I have you and knuckles just goes who are you yeah I'm I'm the guy who's been after you no really who are you I have no idea who you are it, yeah. it's kind of like that Bruce Willis Gary Oldman relationship in the fifth element where uh, they they never meet each other and they don't know each other but they're yeah. mortal enemies and I just that could have worked out so great but they they just they they just completely nerfed it you know where what else makes me sad is that they're Carrie Elves and Stockhard Channing had to I suffer know. through this. Yeah, you know, Stockhard Channing is 80 and she's, she's 80 years old. She, she looks still old. looks amazing. She still looks but amazing. Yeah. I don't mean that insulting, but her comic timing was still on point. Yes. No, I'm saying it was funny, but she was still whip smart. And she was trying to deliver the really bad kind of. I don't know what the show thought it was. I think you're right. I think they've gone six, seven year old age bracket here with this show because it is absolutely tough to watch at times. And, and uh, I, I'd be happy just to watch another super cut where they've cut everything out that Knuckles isn't in. That would probably be like 15 minutes long, but I'm all for it. I will say, though, Stalker Channing had great chemistry with Knuckles. Mm. Every scene they had together. Just wonderful stuff. Uh, oh, we're forgetting about Edie Patterson as Wanda, the the sister. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. I didn't mind her too much. I didn't uh, mind the banter. Yeah, you didn't uh, like her. No, I mean she's annoying him. being that big sister, but she stabs him she with a fork. Yeah, in the arm. Who does that? Was zero. Yeah, you're right. This is. This is they so didn't need to make cringe. this live action. This could no. have been just a cartoon. No, they could have when you're in that territory, you're just doing cartoon stuff. There. That that's exactly what they were doing. Uh we gotta throw it up though. One other great performance in this movie. Yep. And the character just disappears and we never see him again. And I think that's very sad. But Christopher Lloyd as the chief. Yes. He was great, and then it was like the it's character great. just vanishes. They forget yeah. about him, and I was just like, "Where did he go?" I liked him. Yeah. Bring him back. That was the more interesting stuff was around the law of knuckles and that, and it's just like, well, what a tease! You're talking about stuff that would have been actually interesting to delve in with knuckles. Instead, you tell us about it, and then you show us this really. It's a bowling tournament. Really, the, the plot is about Knuckles going with him to a bowling tournament. That's it. Yeah. And uh, it's, there's it's, no... It's Kingpin meets Dodgeball, but with none of the humor. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the humor is, yeah, at a very, very base level. Very, there, very There's low-hanging fruit, and then there's fruit that's just falling on the ground and rotting. You know, I think all the comedy is from there. I will um, say, though, I will say the action sequences were very nice. Oh, I don't think we, I don't think we, we are in a situation anymore, Jason. I think in this day and age where those kind of, you know, franchise related spin off stuff, they're going to spend top dollar now, aren't they? They're going to oh, make yeah. sure it oh, looks yeah. as good as anything that you would see. And it does. Yeah. Knuckle looks fantastic. Sonic yeah, there, looks fantastic. There were a couple of shots where I saw that the that Knuckles was kind of composited, not yeah. great in a scene, but they were like split second shots. Yeah. It was just like, oh, that looks good. Looks just like the movie. Ooh, that was bad, but that looks good. Mm. Uh, but overall, you know, if you don't count everything else, <laughs> if you just count Knuckles and the action. It, it's pretty good. It, well, it, I think it's it, a it, testament to Idris Elba. I mean, yes, the fact that yes. he's taken a character that probably didn't need that. I mean, I'm sure some people out there go, oh, Knuckles, Knuckles. But he elevated that character. He did. And he did. Uh, there's a reason why they just said, no, we've got to have him in a show. There just wasn't enough of him. I would like a Knuckles animated show. Pump him out. He just obviously loves doing the Knuckles characters. Uh, he does it for his kids, and I think he's got, yeah, and all that kind of thing. Well, I just, just hear this guy unleashed. It's just perfect. They, they have a really good Sonic cartoon on Netflix. I cannot remember what it is, but okay. it's, its humor is so much more refined than these six mm. episodes. There, There's just, 
it's very meta and very self-aware. It's more so, refined than the films. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, the films are yeah. super refined compared to this. I mean, yeah, they're still yeah. made for kids and big kids like us. Uh, but this was like this was if Disney Channel made yeah. a series I, based I, on Sonic the Hedgehog. It's just not. I good. think the difference is there are family films, like classic family films, where the whole family can go and get something out of. And then there is the Disney, like that kind of. No, we're not going to worry about whether grandma and grandpa or mum and dad are going to enjoy this. We're just going to focus on getting those young yeah. kids in. There's, and that's a shame because those movies are family films. They are. And, the, and it, there's also something to be said about the reason why the films work and this series didn't is mm -hmm. that the films have a straight man. It has James Marston, who's there yeah. to be the normal person, the normal, somewhat intelligent, maybe yeah. not fully capable person, but he's there to kind of be the person we identify with thinking, wow, this is such a weird thing. Look at the yeah. little blue guy. Look at the little red guy. Look at the little fox with two two tails. Uh, look at look at Jim Carrey being silly. Um, this series does not have that because every adult in this movie is a caricature. It's a cartoon. They're all ignorant. They're all stupid. They're all exaggerated. And when everybody is exaggerated, no one is. Yep. You just have a new, lame baseline. I think you nailed it there, mate. That's absolutely couldn't agree more. Yeah. They, look, I, I wouldn't say to people not watch it, Jason, but um, it certainly doesn't deserve anything more as far as I'm concerned. And it almost got a crock, but I'm going to give it the bear of apathy this show just because I'm feeling generous. I uh, I was going to be more merciful <laughs> on this show mm -hmm. at the very beginning because the yeah. first two episodes i was like okay yeah this is this is not bad this is you know yeah. special effects are good the story's kind of yeah. good but i think as it goes on it just falls apart and falls apart and falls apart it's like the car in follow that bird that cookie monster keeps eating and by the time it gets to the finish line there's like nothing left except for the engine and the seats uh i i thought that the ending was just awful it yeah. was terrible it it was abrupt for no reason it was anticlimactic it was cliched and whenever the even after the end credit scene with them on the motorcycle i was just like really we're gonna yeah. end it like that that yeah exactly so, what i so would do even so though pointless. even though i would say if you loved knuckles in the movie sure give this series a look because you do get some really good knuckles in this movie but i'm giving it a crock yeah i wow, thought it okay. was just bad it was yeah. just bad well you know i'm sure uh yeah look i don't know what else to say it is bad i i, I gave it a sympathy only because of interest elba's performance as knuckles but everything else is just yeah yeah. I'm just very proud of that screenshot. That is very good. Screenshot. I pulled that off of the trailer and that's just such a good screenshot. But yeah, again, testament to the special effects guys. I mean, just look at that. Okay. All right, guys, that's what we thought of the knuckle series, which just dropped today on Paramount plus go check it out. Watch the review. Do you agree with and this? Get some ice cream. Oh, we Let's do know Jason, if they don't agree with us, they're wrong. I am the warrior. Got that oh, stupid that, song. Oh, right my God. The soundtrack felt cringy. It really it did. Like, we've mean, heard on. all this music a million times and a million other things. You know, they needed so. to do this as a Knuckles prequel. What did Knuckles do before Sonic 2? Yeah, all animated. It would have been great. That's a story. 